And living in Tanzania is a dream. It's very beautiful. It's got a lot to see, both beaches and safari. But most importantly, it's a nice place to live. And the Tanzanians themselves are extremely welcoming. So on a personal basis, it's really good. On a business basis, there is challenges, but when you overcome those challenges, it's so much more rewarding. Only 12% of the country have access to electricity. So the grid is roughly 1,000 to 1,500 megawatts. There is significant scope for growth here, and we'd like to be part of that. Traditionally, Tanzania's power system has been heavily hydro-reliant. And that means that if there's a drought or low rain season, then that can result in power problems on the grid system. In the five years since I've been here, at least three occasions where there's been problems with power shortages and power cuts and blackouts. And so what's important for us is that we can provide a stable source of energy during those periods. And so by burning natural gas, we're able to do that. The gas that we burn in a Bungo power plant is a Tanzanian resource that can be used for the benefit of Tanzania. So we're not importing it and it's much more economically priced. Since we've started operating, the company has helped save $2 billion or so for Tanzania. Natural gas is a naturally occurring hydrocarbon. We spotted this resource in the Indian Ocean and we're able to bring that to Dar es Salaam to replace very expensive liquid fuel. We have a pipeline that runs approximately 220 kilometers from Songo Songo to Dar es Salaam and it ends up at our power station. We have six gas turbines. They provide the majority of electricity here. These LM6000 are aeroderivatives, which means the core engine is really an aero engine modified for ground use. They quickly get big amount of power for a short time. Aeroderivative engines in the LM6000s are very easy to maintain. They're very quick to swap in and out. So we work closely with General Electric to make the process of changing them in and out as quick and as easy as possible. If we have a breakdown, we're able to call on GE and request a lease engine to be flown into site. We can pretty much turn an engine around in, in just under a week. Aerodriverative engines are very flexible because we can stop them starting very quickly, because we don't lose a lot of maintenance hours if we do stop them. That flexibility benefits us a lot. GE have been our very close collaborators in making sure that our operations are smooth and our availability is high. We've managed to pull together a really high performing team and we do formal training with people and we've worked closely with GE on that. They've sent people here to help develop our employees and they actively use our team as part of the, the maintenance crew for these engines and that brings real benefits for our staff. You don't have to drive down the street to see that the city of Dar is, is growing dramatically with lots of different shops. It's essential for a growing country to keep improving and keep growing its own energy resources. Having access to electricity means people can grow their businesses, people can develop businesses, be it small grocers, be it fishermen have access to refrigeration. That's the practical reality of having access to energy. People's lives at home are more comfortable. People have lighting and their children can study and they can improve their own lot and education. That goal is an important one. It gives people opportunities to, to change their lives. But we're proud of that contribution.